friends welcome back to ANVN channel today let us see the embroid technology but first make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to get my latest updates first to understand embroid technology we need to understand all the basics of electric current how current flows through wire and wireless technology now let's see how current flows through wire. An electric current is said to exist when there is a net flow of electric charge through a region. Electric charge is carried by charged particles. So, an electric current is a flow of charged particles. The moving particles are called charge carriers, which may be one of several types of particles depending on the conductor. In electric circuits, the charge carriers are often electrons moving through a wire. In an electrolyte, the charge carriers are ions, while in an ionized gas or plasma, both ions and electrons are used. Now let's see how current flows through wirelessly. In a wireless power transmission system, a transmitter device driven by electric power from a power source generates a time-varying electromagnetic field, which transmits power across space to a receiver device, which extracts power from the field and supplies it to an electrical load. The technology of wireless power transmission can eliminate the use of the wires and batteries, thus increasing the mobility, convenience and safety of an electronic device for all users. Main Differences Between Wired and Wireless Current now let's see the difference of wire current. Wired as the term refers to any physical medium connected through wires and cables. The wires and cables can be copper wire, twisted pair or even fiber optic. Wired connectivity is responsible for providing high security with high bandwidth provision for each user. In fact, wired connectivity is considered highly reliable and incurs very low delay, unlike wireless connectivity. Wired current also earns high installation cost. Now let's see the wireless current. Wireless, as the term refers, uses microwaves to electricity. Wireless devices have antennas for communication. Wireless connectivity provides a major benefit of user mobility and ease of deployment. Wireless becomes more useful in areas where wires can't be reached. Wireless powers can be defined as the transmission of electrical energy from a power source to an electrical load without connecting wires. It is reliable, efficient, fast, low maintenance cost and it can be used for short range or long range. History about wireless electricity Transferring energy with microwaves has been around for decades. In fact, back in 1891, Nikola Tesla set out to supply power wirelessly. This led him to create the Tesla coil, the first system that could wirelessly transmit energy. He tested wireless energy transmission using a radio frequency resonant transformer of the Tesla coil. He managed to produce high voltage, high frequency alternating currents that enable him to wirelessly transfer power over short distances. Unfortunately, Tesla was never successful in developing his coil technology further. However, his inventions did completely transform the way electricity was comprehended and used. Then, in the 1970s, NASA showed it could support a helicopter drone in the air by charging it with microwaves from the ground. However, they did not develop the technology further to the point where it would be commercially viable. New materials have allowed Emerald to convert energy back into electricity incredibly efficiently, thus enabling the technology to be viable for commercial use. The Emro Technology Emro claims to have developed the world's first long-range, high-power wireless power transmission technology. PowerCo will be the New Zealand's second largest electricity distribution company. 
power cope will be testing the technology as an alternative to transmission via copper lines the embro technology works by utilizing electromagnetic waves to safely and efficiently transmit energy wirelessly over vast distances the prototype received some government funding and was designed and built in auckland in cooperation with calagan innovation what is embro Emrod is a startup developing revolutionary long range wireless power transmission as an alternative to existing copper based line technology. The technology was developed in cooperation with Callaghan Innovation Research Scientists and supported by a government R&D grant. How it works? Energy is transmitted through electromagnetic waves over long distances using Emrod's property beam shaping, metamaterials and receiving antenna technology. The technology requires a transmitting antenna to send the energy and a receiving antenna to do what it names such as receive and rectify the beam back to electricity. A relay can be used between these two antennas to extend the distance the energy is able to travel across. Emrod was founded with the mission to have a positive impact on as many people as possible. So far, wireless power transfer to be widely adopted, it also had to be safe. And Emrod does exactly that. The beams use common electromagnetic frequencies in the ISM or industrial, scientific and medical band that things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth use. Plus point-to-point -point transmission means there's no energy spillage around the beam. If for any reason something were to intercept the beam like a bird, it immediately shuts down, meaning the bird never touches anything but clean air. Emerald is unlike a more tropical example, 5G, which spreads low levels of electromagnetic radiation everywhere, inevitably immersing and hitting the human body. Okay friends, I think you might enjoy the video. If you like my explanation, then please like. Also share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get my latest notifications of our channel. And thank you for watching.